So I thought we also could just take a quick look here at some Galaxy S22 renders and this is some concept renders from OnLeaks and Digit.in and uh, their renders are basically showing uh, a new redesign on of the rear camera on the Samsung phone so if you know with the current Galaxy S21 Ultra it doesn't have a p-shaped design something that these uh, rumored, rumored, rumored renders are claiming that we may see that and if we take a quick look at it we can also see that it kind of has this Galaxy Note design um, which I'm not quite sure if Samsung would actually pull that off because they already have a Note series but um, yeah, a P-shaped design here on the the camera is uh, is is a big focus. And another focus here is um, yeah, you can see it looks like it has more rounded edges than uh, than the current generation of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And uh, you can also see that it comes here with a stylus, which I'm not quite sure. Uh, if Samsung would do that because they would basically then be they would remove the utility of the uh, of the Samsung Galaxy Note series because if you if you can get a stylus with the Galaxy S22 uh, Ultra then um, you w you wouldn't need to have you basically wouldn't need to have a um, a, a Samsung Galaxy S22 uh, Note phone but a stylus I would I would really enjoy that if that came with um, uh, with the Galaxy S22. But the problem then is that stylus and when you get the stuff that you can remove from the phone, uh, there is a risk of you basically losing it. And there is also this other kind of render here, which is kind of interesting. So if we go back here, it, we got some rumored renders here of. Um, some dummy units of uh, Galaxy S22 molds uh, which you can see over here and you can see here that this one comes with another kind of camera design where it's basically the same design as on the S21 Ultra but it's just a little bit more slimmed down so it's not as wide as it is on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and uh, you can see that the, the kind of volume keys are at the same location as uh, where it currently is with the S21 Ultra. And uh, it looks like you still will get this USB Type-C. It doesn't seem like they're going to remove that yet. But that's something that you may see with the, with the new generation iPhones eventually. Because in the EU, um, they basically want... Um, want Apple to to have a USB type C and if Apple doesn't want that then they may go fully cordless uh, on the on the next generation of the iPhone 14 um, there is also some other reasons here why you want to wait may want to wait for not the S22 but the Galaxy S23 and that is if you don't like these changes that we may see with the S22 uh, how first we may get a smaller screen down to 6 uh, six inch or 6.1 inch from 6.2 inch currently a smaller battery 3700 milliamps um, and the current ha have 4000 milliamps now I don't understand this because from the iPhone 12 to the iPhone 13 they Apple included a larger battery so it doesn't make any sense why Samsung would include a smaller battery on their next generation uh, next generation of Galaxy phone and CPU may be Exynos 2200 or Snapdragon 898 um, a new telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom sounds nice Android 12 we currently have Android 11 on the S22 or S21 Ultra but yeah um, there's also a quick little uh, small video here but it doesn't really show anything else than what these uh, pictures already here are showing so it doesn't really seem like um, if you already own the Samsung Galaxy S21 it doesn't seem like the Galaxy S22 will be a large upgrade so you may want to wait for the Samsung Galaxy S23 
that may come out in uh, 2023. We may see the Samsung Galaxy S22 coming in January of the next year. So in around four months from now.